All right, time to lower the motor. Let's see if we can make this happen. Uh-oh, just clicking. Up works. Ah, crap. Well, let's fix it. Hey guys, it's Handcrafted by Jason Cooper. Today we are fixing my boat. Uh, but before we do that, if you like my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, like this video, check out my website at woodwork.cooperjason.com. Again, today we're fixing my boat. The trim will go up, but it will not go down. Let's see what's going on. All right, guys, here I am at the motor. Um, and this is a Force 50 horsepower outboard motor. Um, at the time they were owned by Mercury. And so almost all the parts are like Quicksilver Mercury parts. Um, but here's what we got here. The trim system has two relays, an up and a down. And I think this is up and this is down. Um, and it doesn't really matter which one is which. Oh, actually you can tell by the wires. The, uh, they got a green and a blue wire coming out of there and the green is down, blue is up. Um, and I've watched videos on like, okay, I, I have, I can't go down, but I'm going up, but you can hear the relay click. So the relay is getting um, voltage from the switch. Again, a relay is just a, like a, a, it's like two switches in one. You activate either a lower amperage or lower voltage switch, and that trips a higher voltage or higher amperage switch. So the, the amperage that pulls to the trim motor is a little more than they want to run through the, the trim switch that's up on the throttle. Um, you may have another, mine doesn't have it, but there's a place for an auxiliary switch here. But the same concept, that energizes um, the relay, which connects power through the trim motor. Now, troubleshooting this, it's instinctive to think if it doesn't go down, then the problem is with the down relay. But when I found that this was the down relay and swapped it out with a new one, my problem persisted with a brand new relay. And you're, if you're wondering, like I was, like, well, how the heck does that happen? If I just replaced it, what is my deal? So I tried cleaning my switch on my uh, throttle alarm. It's not a problem thinking maybe it wasn't enough voltage, but I can hear it click. I know that's working. Um, if I reverse these, then the problem reversed, okay? I could go down, but I couldn't go up. And um, it seemed to make sense that the one that was not working, the one was not doing what it's supposed to do, was the one that needed to be replaced. Well, here's the issue. Here's what I found out. It was the exact opposite. And here's why. Because these relays actually work kind of like a three-way switch on your lights in your house. They have, uh, you know, it's kind of like a traveler wire on your in your house when you can switch a light from multiple locations. Um, these actually both are in play in this system, because this is a two wire, and here's my uh, here's my uh, trim wires going down to the trim motor. It's a two wire system. If you have a three wire system to your trim motor, it's going to be a little different. But this two wire system is here. Uh, it has two relays, and so when you energize one relay, it does send uh, the power to the motor. Um, but all we're doing is when we alternate between them is reversing the polarity, and then so the motor goes in reverse. But whether we're going up or down, both of these relays are in play because when one is energized, the other one is acting like the neutral or the return path or the ground or whatever you want to call it. It's completing the circuit back to the, uh, back to the battery. And then when you energize this one, it's the other way around. It, or when you energize this one, it's the other way around. This one becomes the return path, um, the ground back to the battery. So what I figured out was that I need to put the new relay, not on the one that isn't working, because I tried that and it didn't work. I need to put it on the one that is appearing to work because it was just not connecting in the resting position. Okay. So let me go uh, click on this a little bit. This is, this is what the state it's in and it's probably going to work for me now because it would do it intermittently. It wouldn't go down. And then recently it's like, wouldn't go down almost ever. Um, so I'm going to go flip the switch here. Okay, I'm up here at my trim switch. Okay, and again, you'll, you'll, hear it, you'll hear it click. Hear it click on the downside. It'll go up. Oh, see, now it's going down. So it was intermittent. It'll go back up. Oh, there, it won't go, okay? And I'm gonna show you, that's the existing, um, you know, setup with the original uh, relays in there. This is the down relay. 
This is the up relay. I replaced the down and the problem persisted. So now I'm going to replace this relay and fix the problem. All right, now to get these out, they actually have a 10 millimeter um, bolt goes through that hole. I've already got those out. I've got my new relay here. Um, this one is just a cheap one off of Amazon, uh, but you can get them uh, mostly online. You might be able to find it in a, a parts store. A little hard to track down, but this is a five pin um, relay um, and you can look up the specs on yours and just try to find the same thing. Might have a part number on it. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, replace this one, the one uh, that is the down relay. It's a little tab here that you can depress. And then you just got a flat screwdriver and kind of stick it in there and pry your way around to separate the relay from the housing. It starts to go. These actually have a waterproof proof gasket in there, so it gives some resistance. Once you got it past that tab, you can work it out gently with your hands. There we go. Right, you can see the five pin setup and this here. You may want to disconnect power for this uh, just in case you stick something in there and shock yourself. So, again, I'm taking this relay that I believe is bad, putting in the new relay, and we're going to see if that fixes the problem. And of course, I know that it already does. Okay, pressed on in place, and let's go back to the front, see if this will move. works and down down is working oh. sorry about that so here we are switch ups working downs working okay now obviously I could sit here all day and play with this but my intermittent problem problem seems to have gone away and I guess again it was a little bit counterintuitive it wasn't the down really it was a problem even though it wouldn't go down okay so keep that in mind if you're having similar trouble with your boat. Um, if you replace them in pairs, I wouldn't have, I would have fixed the problem. I never would have noticed this. But when I was just trying to replace one, the problem persisted. Um, some boats have, um, with a two-wire system, have an uh, integrated relay in one unit. It's technically two relays, but it's integrated into one. In that case, you can only replace the whole thing at once. But if you have a setup like this with two different relays, just remember... It may be the opposite relay that actually has the problem. And that may fix your boat. Um, again, if you're placing both at the same time, uh, then you take care of that problem too. So hopefully this is helpful if you're dealing with a trim issue on your boat. Um, help you troubleshoot, uh, troubleshoot what's going on and you can get by with replacing just the one uh, relay. Keep the extra as a spare in your boat in case you run into a problem uh, and you should be good to go. That's it for today. We fixed it. Thanks for watching.